The hectic music from the ballroom is produced by an often ignored character known to visitors simply as the organist. This man plays his organ in a deranged manner while ghosts burst out of its pipes. Who is this musician? How did he arrive at the mansion? What secret does he hold? Let's find out here in Stories from the Mansion. This ghost exists from the very beginning of the ride design, where he only appeared as a pair of feet playing the pedals of the organ. Later in development did he manifest his actual form, dressed in a very common mid-Victorian fashion. His hair is wild and styled to the fashion of other musicians from the period. As many animated figures from the mansion, he shares a head with a pirate or many pirates from the pirate's ride. He even has the same face as another ghost from the ballroom itself, or of another fellow musician in the mansion, this xylophone player in the graveyard. In a recent crypt build for the composers of the mansion, he is named as Ravenscroft, an homage to the late Thurl Ravenscroft. Still, in the 50th anniversary merchandise and in the ghost post, he is named as Victor Geist. The organ he plays at the California mansion comes from the film 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The actual notes in his music book, courtesy of the Ghost Relationship Department picture you are seeing right now, have nothing to do with the grim grinning ghost's music. Perhaps any of you musicians could render the insane composition for us fans to listen to. This character simply has no official story whatsoever. So. How about we dive into the crazy fan fictions about him? The long forgotten blog is as important for any haunted mansion fan as the Doom Buggies page. It reminds me a lot of many deceased haunted mansion web pages from the 2000s that are all now, well, long forgotten. In one article, the creator of this blog mentions a story that could have inspired Imagineers called The Canonic Curse. A cursed music piece played by a deranged musician that brings forth cursed sounds that in the illustration of the story take the shape of spirits. This haunted music played three times ends with a crazy improvisation which stops sounding like music and resembles now much more the sounds of hell. Bringing this to the mansion, it seems that this cursed music Deranged improvisation, hellish sound, manifests banshees and spirits from dark places of the underworld. An aid, perhaps, to Leotus Calling, who actually asks for music from regions beyond. So perhaps in life, this organist might have opened the portal to the mansion with this enchanted music and or summoned dark forces. The Ghost Gallery fan fiction says he befriended the tightrope girl in a circus where he played the organ. This girl eventually became wife of Master Gracie, owner of a wealthy plantation. By her recommendation, Wolfgang Elias Furlong, the organist, was hired to play in special events at the mansion. This man gains the trust and love of the guests of the mansion with his beautiful music, but gains an enemy with a ghost that haunted the music room. One day, as Wolfgang played the piano, the ghost violently thrusted the lid closed, and this broke the organist's fingers. Physicians of the era claimed his hands would never be the same as before, so Wolfgang used piano wire to fabricate a rope and hanged himself with it. In the Tumblr community continuity, he shares a similar story to the Ghost Gallery one, except he is named Thaddeus Morgan. Here the organ played in the mansion was brought from an antiquarian, 
who in turn bought the instrument from some peer sellers who sold pieces and rescuable items from a mysterious shipwreck. In this story, the Diaz grows mad as time goes by and plays the organ during more time in the day until he does not eat or sleep because of the there is some speculation that Leota cursed him to play forever. Others say the organ is cursed. Regardless of the reason, Master Gracie grows weary of the music which becomes deranged, and it is called the Screaming Song by the inhabitants of the mansion. He wakes up in the middle of the night to find the deer's play, and after asking him to please Please quit several times. He enraged and closed the lid and crushed the deer's fingers. Only then there was silence, and the deer's later killed himself because of his injuries that prevented him from ever playing the organ again. In another story, the organist kills choir boys for being out of tune and these spirits haunt him after their death. These are the little spirits that spring from the organ while the deranged music is played. In the ghost post, he is part of the welcome committee and not much about his life is said, but as a spirit, he is very close to the tightrope girl spirit and might be in love with her. Victor Geist, as he is called here and in merchandise, plays such eccentric music to use the organ as some sort of supernatural sonar to find what he calls the Forgotten Room, an enclosed secret room of the mansion. In the 2003 game, he has no name whatsoever. In the death certificate that Zeke shows him, it is stated that he died being crushed by the organ pipes that fell on him. Here the organist is short-tempered, underestimates Zeke, and as soon as he hands him the gem, he goes back to playing and composing music obsessively. So what do you think about this character? What other stories do you know about him? This has been all for now, but I'll be waiting for you. And I'll see you all a little later.